Okay, well, I'm up here climbing in the wave. I've managed to... It's funny, I suddenly hit oh, five and a half thousand feet and it went from two knots to four knots. And we got a big wind increase as well. So it's now 52 knots. Which means I've now got this correct speed where I can point in the wind, slow down, and we'll be able to go backwards relative to the ground. Okay, let's try it. My ground speed is currently eight knots. Now, I have to be pointing right under wind here. We're just gonna sit underneath this cloud and climb. Ground speed, six knots, five knots, four knots, three knots, two knots, five knots again. I'm just altering the angle. Gotta get straight into wind so there's no sideways drift. 1.8 knots. Oh wait, at some point it'll start going backwards. Anyway, look at the view. Look at these clouds whiz past. Negative one knot. And that's how you go backwards in a glider. So I thought this was cool. You can actually see here the lenticular above is ragged, so you can actually see the cloud moving, but it's forming and dissipating in the same place. So normally a lenticular looks like this, where it's solid, and you can't actually see the cloud moving. And underneath us is the orographic cloud that's forming up as the air is pushed up over the ridges. But you can see the lenticular above, the air is flowing through the lenticular, but it's not moving, just like the glider's not moving relative to the ground. Whereas orographic cloud is forming and then being blown backwards. So two completely different types of cloud there, and I thought that was interesting. Look at the view out here, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, what fun we have in gliders, eh? Got the brakes out. We are coming down. And check this out. We managed to capture a very rare horseshoe cloud forming out of the uh, orographic cloud. Underneath the lenticular, I was just flying in. That is a very rare cloud phenomenon. Phenomenon. That's a very rare cloud. 